going to multiply a two-digit number by another two-digit number using the distributive property for multiplication. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can decompose these numbers. The easier way is to use expanded form and decompose them based on their place value. So we would show 45 as 40 plus 5 and 39 as 30 plus 9. So next, you want students to use their parentheses and know that we're adding or we're multiplying the two amounts. Then I need to distribute each part or each factor to multiply times another factor. So we're going to take this 40 and multiply it by 30. Do you want students to use that same 40 and multiply it by 9? Now we're going to take the 5 and multiply it by 30. And then take the 5 and multiply it by 9. So it's just like when you had a one-digit number times a two-digit number. You just have more factors this time. Now we're going to find the product. So 4 times 3 is 12. 10 times greater than that would be 120. 10 times greater than that would be 1,200. 4 times 9 is 36. 10 times greater is 360. 5 times 3 is 15. 10 times greater is 150. 5 times 9 is 45. So now we have those partial products. We're going to add them back up together. If it's too much for them to add mentally, they can line up their products based on place value so that they are adding correctly. In the ones place, we have five ones. In the tens place, I know six and four is 10, plus five is 15. 15 tens gives us an extra 100. One plus two plus three plus one is seven hundredths, and then 1,000. So our product is 1,755. Now I'm going to show you how we can decompose one of those numbers differently than if we were going by place value. And then this is a part of like a progression that you will have for students who are ready for it. So the easier way is to decompose by place value, but of course students who have good number sense, who are flexible with their numbers can decompose these numbers in different ways. So I'm still going to keep this as 40 and 5, but this time I'm going to break apart, I'm going to decompose the 39 into 20 and 10 and 9. So 20 and 10 is 30 plus 9. So I took the 39 and decomposed it into 20 plus 10 plus 9. Whatever the student's comfortable with, that's the way they can use it or decompose that number. So again... I'm going to write them with the parentheses so they can clearly see what they are multiplying. And then we're going to distribute these separate factors with all of the factors in our second number. So I'm going to start way over here, 40 times 20, close the parentheses, plus 40 times 10. plus 40 times 9. Now I'm going to do 5 multiplied by each of these numbers in the parentheses. I can already tell this is going to go into the second line, so I'm just going to do the whole, all of the, the 5 times all of these numbers on my second line. So I'm going to do 5 times 20. And I know I'm still adding on. 5 times 10, 
and five times nine. Okay, so it went pretty long, so I'm gonna, with small print, I'm going to write the values of each of the products from each expression down below. So I can write it here, or I can just set up my addition equation down below. So I'm gonna do 40 times 20, I know is 800. So I'm gonna cross it out just so I remember that I'm done with it. 40 times 10 is 400. 40 times nine is 360. Five times 20 is 100. Five times 10 is 50. And five times nine is 45. So this is just another way to decompose one of those factors. Now we can add them together I know 800 and 400 is 1,200, 360 plus 100 is 460, and 50 plus 45 is 95. I know that 1,295 is 1,295. So I use those and I'm just gonna add that to 460. I have five ones. 15 tens gives me an extra hundred, six, seven hundreds, and one thousand. So again, our total product is 1,755. This was just another way that a student might decompose their numbers if they are comfortable decomposing it in a way that's different than just the tens and the ones. Again, it helps with their number sense and flexibility of numbers. We multiplied a two-digit number times another two-digit number using the distributive property.